the last morning in Khabarovsk. I'm going to hitchhike to the third place in my Russian journey, the city of Blagoveshinsk, right next to the border with China. 700 kilometers from here, first time in my life hitchhike in Russia. I just took a bus out of the city, now on the road, and I'm staying next to a gas station. That's my bet for today. I hope to get the first car somewhere around here. No, that was a bad idea with the gas station. So many cars, they just go there and come back to the city, and only a few keep moving in the direction I need. The first car, a guy was coming back home from Habarov to his village and just got me here, 10 minute ride, a huge cafe, huge car stop with a lot of trucks and I think I could go from one truck to another one and ask if they could bring me somewhere. <laughs> I think I'm doing something wrong. First time hitchhiking in Russia and perhaps I don't know something. In Thailand, in China and some other Asian countries it was kind of different. I know what I'm actually doing wrong guys. I'm not taking a train to Blagoveshens because this road. Today I understood one thing, that hitchhiking in Russia is quite different from the experience I had before. And I'll definitely try it again, hitchhiking is great, but this way from Habarovsk to Blagoveshens I'm better <sighs> take a train. p.m. and I'll be in Blagoveshinsk tomorrow morning 7.30. Long time, again overnight train and this train looks not as modern as the last one from Vladivostok to Habarovsk but still very decent. One minute before the departure, everyone's in the carriage, and we are getting to check our tickets to get our tickets checked. Like the train is full this time from this side and from that one. This train is different than the one I took from Vladivostok. Not as modern as that one, but still not bad. Mm. In this train, there's no normal shower, it's only in one carriage and it's paid in pay about 150 rubles to use it or 2 US dollars. Then behind me there are some... There is electricity, I can use it for free, it's good, but I don't have a uh, lighting, I don't have um, any light. I also got here a new friend. Скажи, как тебя зовут? Откуда ты? Валера Калинин, с Нового Ургала. Нового Ургала? Это где-то около Благовещенска? Под Хабаров. А в Благовещенске ты чем занимаешься? Чистый город. Профайненько немного. А так приезжайте и смотрите. Набережно красивая. 
А вам Благовещенск нравится? Ой, да как уже, я уже привыкла, что там живу. Here, the water heater is so different from the one we saw in the last train. I even need two hands to actually use it. Welcome to Blagovishinsk. It's 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. and I'm about to go to my couch surfing host family. About 4 kilometers away, so I need to take a bus. Perhaps walk there for about 40 minutes, I'm not sure how long. And... Um, oh, somebody offered a taxi. Don't take taxis from these guys, it will be way too much expensive. Better just order something like Uber or Yandex taxi or just take a bus. I'll be living somewhere around in one of these buildings. Not sure which one exactly. Gotta call my host family and know it. Welcome to ordinary Russian compound. A lot, a lot of people live in such kind of place all over Russia. And actually this one looks quite nice in my eyes. I'm going to stay here for about three, four more days. Have a rest today. Talk with my host family, her mother and another couch surfer who is about to come tonight. And tomorrow I'm going to explore the city of Lagovechensk. The city is located very close to China, literally divided only by a river. And uh, from one side of the river you can see just another country, how amazing it is. My quest will be to find something Chinese in this city. Quite excited, I love Chinese food and tomorrow hopefully it will be my lunch or dinner. Have you heard that every Russian has a bear at home? That's my bear. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you'll hit that like button and leave me a comment simply because it helps my channel to grow and also makes me a little bit happier. Yeah, that's basically how it works, right? I try to create content that you hopefully like and try my best at doing it better and you support me by giving the tiny little like and a comment. And if you are curious what the heck happened to 
my hair? Go ask that question in the comments, because I want to make a Q&A video about Russia and about my journey around the biggest country in the world. Yeah, stay safe wherever you are and see you next video.